Here is an application question on quadratic functions. The question here is, if a pistol bullet is fired vertically at an initial speed of 100 meters per second, the height in meters after t seconds is given by h equals to 100 t minus 5 t square. Find the maximum height reached by the bullet. So the situation is kind of like this we are firing a bullet so it just goes up kind of like this and has to eventually fall down we are interested in finding the maximum height and let this is the height which we are interested in finding is it okay the expression for this height edge is given as 100 t minus 5 t square how will you find the maximum height so whenever you read maximum, you don't have to think much. You have to do complete squares. That's so simple, right? Straightforward. So we'll do completing the squares. We do minus 5t square plus 100t. Take minus 5 common. So we have t square minus 100 divided by 5 is 20 now we do half of 20 right which is 10 add and subtract square of 10 and then we know first three terms are perfect squares t minus 10 whole square minus 10 square is minus 100 and now we can open the bracket minus 5 t minus 10 whole square and that becomes plus 500. So we get the vertex and this vertex happens to be at t equals to 10 and the maximum height is 500. Do you see that? Now you can write down your answer and your answer is find the maximum height reached by the bullet and the units are meters. So you have to mention meters. So 500 meters is your answer. Maximum height. Does it make sense? Okay. Now, here is an alternate approach. You don't have to always do this. You could factor and get your answer also. So let me show you that. So if I take, uh, uh, let's say, 5t as my factor, then I get here 20, and here I get minus t. Now, that factor means we have two zeros, right? So this means we have two zeros let me just make some okay so so we say zero at t equals to zero and at t equals to 20 right so if i write zero here we get a zero the other zero is after 20 seconds so that means you shot when t equals to zero and it fell down so if you see the other way i mean if that becomes your time is it okay and then it is kind of like this if i just kind of stretch it do you see that in that case this is at zero this is at 20. where is your axis midway right midway means add them divide by 2 which is 10. so at t equals to 10 you have maximum so if i substitute 10 here i get 5 times 10 20 minus 10 which is 500 so you can get by factoring also so you need not always do completing the squares so that's a very important thing to understand i hope that helps thanks and all the best